I'm back in the saddle again. Live, local, yeah. 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 ruffling feathers like no one else can, making afternoon radio great again. Dialing it in from the right side of the galaxy with a serious dose of truth, justice, and freedom to have fun. All right. This is The Ross Report. Just trying to run down the news for you guys on this Friday. Whoa. Talk about a, a dock dump on a Friday. Oh, my gosh. Just before I left home, I got the email. Before I get into that, I'm going to welcome you to the Ross Report. It's so good to have you with us on this Friday, intermittently beautiful Friday. Uh, walking the dog this morning, we had to duck into the neighbor's, uh, under the neighbor's uh, port <laughs> because the rain was so intermittent. Waited five minutes. Got back out. It was a beautiful, sunshiny day. So wherever you are in Acadiana, could be some clouds, could be some sunshine. But you know what? Right here in the Ross Report, always sunshine. We try to be happy no matter what is going on. And we have big news to share with you, so stand by. But we want to thank our friends over at Service Chevrolet Cadillac for all they do, not only for us here at the Ross Report, but for the community. I mean, for years and years, almost since their founding, they have been an integral part of this community and they continue to offer the greatest selection, according to current GM data, of Chevrolets and Chevy trucks and Cadillacs. You just, you really just can't beat the selection over at Service Chevrolet Cadillac. And we know that you can't beat the deals. Wonderful deals, wonderful people, outstanding service after the sale. I mean, no question about that. Service Chevrolet Cadillac. They've got a deal for you, and they're so easy to get to. 1212, 1214 Ambassador Caffrey Parkway, just off I-10. And uh, if you can't get over there, well, then you know where to go on the website, right? For Chevy cars and trucks, it's servicegm.com. And for that fabulous selection of Cadillacs, well, Cadillac at service.com. Easy to get to, easy to deal with. Service Chevrolet Cadillac. Well, when I first got the news, when it pumped into my inbox, I thought, oh, boy, it's another one of their April Fool jokes. But it's not. According to the email I received, and apparently it's blown up all over the place because so is my phone, in media, in independent announces closure of the independent suspension of the business publication ABiz. I'll give it to you just the way I got it in my inbox. In media announced today that it will publish the final edition of its daily newspaper, The Insider, on Friday, June 30th. The move effectively ends publication of the independent. The end.com, which was founded in 2003 as an alternative news weekly and converted to an online only presence earlier this year. The media entity's founding co publishers, Steve May and Cherry Fisher May, also confirmed plans to suspend operations of the business publication A Biz after the July issue featuring Acadiana's top 50 private companies. The ABIS Top 50 Luncheon, produced annually by End Media uh, uh, End Events, is slated for Wednesday, August 16th. And I gather that that will go on. Uh, keynote speaker will be political pollster Dr. Ron Fauché. Um, in a new twist, this year's event will be produced as a fundraiser for Monkus Park at the Horse Farm. That's nice. 50% of the ticket sales will be donated to the nonprofit organization. Um, the End Events Productions uh, will serve as a new fundraising model for End Media's B2B franchise model still under development. So they're moving in different directions. But the Independent, as we know it, is shutting down. Now, their um, new arts and culture magazine, The Current, will immediately suspend publication as well while exploring an ownership restructuring that will allow it to resume operations. And um, let's see, the Bon Ton Planner Guide will continue. Um, Acadiana Lifestyle and its related publications not impacted by the changes. Uh, let's see what else. Um, oh, the maze noted that readers should expect limited but continuing coverage of major stories 
uh, uh, specifically the recall, uh, the effort to recall City Marshal Brian Pope and his upcoming criminal trial, as well as the paper's ongoing public records lawsuit against Third Circuit Court of Appeal Judge Candace Perrett on respective end media Facebook pages and other social media platforms. So those operations will go forward. Key personnel with the publishing group are exploring the possibilities of an online-only news product, uh, potentially doing so as a nonprofit journalism organization. And they'll have more details on that later. As co-publisher Cherry Fisher May said, the media landscape everywhere is being redefined, and we certainly are not immune to those challenges. Um, Prolonged downturn in the oil and gas industry has made the news publishing environment all the more difficult and then all the niceties about the staff, et cetera. So the Independent and ABIS shutting down um, suspension of the ABIS, but uh, the Independent as it is now shutting down. So there you go. I don't like to see that. Uh, We hardly ever agreed on anything political, financial, whatever. Uh, (laughs) Government-sponsored enterprises, et cetera. So... Yeah, it's not, uh, as, a, as a news person, I like to see more voices in the marketplace, not less. And uh, I think they did fulfill a function. Didn't, all, didn't hardly ever agreed with them. And, um, you know, had my differences with them. But uh, it, you just don't want to see a news publication shut down. That's one less voice in the marketplace. And I don't think that's a good thing, frankly. But there it goes. So the Independent, the daily online daily newspaper, the end will end publication on Friday, June thirtieth, and um, the operations of ABiz have been suspended, uh, as has the uh, Arts and Cur- a Culture magazine, The Current. Um, that's going to be well. They're going to be looking at an ownership restructuring. So there you go. Hi, hi, hi. Big changes in the marketplace. Just thought you'd like to know. If you have an opinion on this or any other topic, you know we have a line for you on the Ross Report. We always do. 232-1542. 232-1542. Well, I'll tell you what. It's getting crazier and crazier out there, my friends. You know, you know when, when you see the Congressional Black Caucus, I'm sorry, the Congressional Black Caucus headed by our own Cedric Richmond, maybe a great baseball player, but uh, this was not a good move, in my opinion. If you saw it, you know what I'm talking about. We'll be talking about that. There are so many things, so many headlines in the news, including some crazy ones that we're going to share with you. Um, Pizzagate, the hoax, believe, sentenced to a four-year term, and what happened to that guy with the video uh, that supposedly led to the uh, Benghazi attack? Is he still in jail? Uh, We'll have to check that out and let you know. But here goes the Pizzagate high. Pizzagate, hoax believer, is going to be sentenced to four-year term. What about the people who got the people in Benghazi killed? Have they, have any of them had to answer? Has anybody in the Obama administration had to answer for Fast and Furious for Brian Terry being killed, among other agents? Has anybody had to ask for the the conservative groups being targeted? by the IRS, a weaponized IRS. Anybody anybody being published for what's going on at the VA? Maybe a few people lost their jobs, but that's about it. You hear stories every day. It hasn't changed substantially. Trump's got a big job ahead of him. You better believe it. A big job ahead of him. So we have to the, be the wind beneath his wings and stick with him and try to help him get stuff done, including that latest iteration of <laughs> health care repeal, replace, whatever you call it. I mean, whatever is going to happen with that, I don't know, because you've got the Republicans fighting with each other. Again, seven and a half years to come up with something they could all agree on. But what were they doing? Well, they were doing show votes. The show votes that they knew would be repeal, uh, vetoed by Obama while he was in office. Did they do anything substantive so that when, they, when Trump got in there, they could hit the ground running? No, because they don't want to lose all those taxes and they don't want to lose all that control either. That includes the Republicans. 
somebody needs to send a little message up to them and say, you know, you promised us over and over again, we're listening, we're watching, we want something done. It may not be perfect, but you darn well better get it done because Obamacare is imploding and too many people have been seriously, seriously hurt by that abomination. So a lot to talk about today and we always have a line for you, 232 on the Ross Report. We're going to take a, a break right now, so if you want to get in on the conversation, we want to hear from you. Independent shutting down, woof, that's big news in the marketplace. Yeah, so I had to share that with you first. But there's a lot more to talk about, so stay with us, my friends. We'll be right back. 